Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to go back and look at a video that I'd never posted. So back at EA Play, when I first played Island Living, I made a Sims 4 Island Living First Impressions video, which you can see here. And it, you can see it was uploaded on the 10th of June, 2019, but it's only got three views and they're all me. 12 minutes long, it's me reacting my first impressions, talking about the expansion. I never posted it because I wasn't sure if I was being too rash or too quick to judge the pack, but we've had a few months now and I really wanna go back and react to this and see if what I said still holds true. Is this kind of, is this weird watching my own video? I don't know, let's find out. Let's play. Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 Island Living video. Today's one is gonna be all about my thoughts and impressions, what I think about the pack, what I've experienced so far and all of that kind of stuff. Now this is gonna be- Okay, that's good, it's a good start. Uh, we need to skip forward a little bit because let's get to the let's get to the meat and potatoes. So what do I think of the pack overall? Mm. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a rating amongst all the other packs Ooh. first. Actually, I, you know what? Let me rate it again now. I don't remember what I rated it. So a little while ago, I did a Sims 4 DLC tier list where I rated all the packs from S down to F. Uh, which ones are the best? Obviously S and the worst ones at F. So let's see what I ended up. Oh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this video, you're gonna see the end of it now. So this is where I ended up. My favorites were Laundry Day stuff, Parenthood and Seasons, which I still agree with. And I think generally speaking, this is still my rating. Now for Island Living, and for reasons we'll probably get into further in this video, I would probably put it in C at, at most, along with city living and get to work. Now, I know a lot of people love city living. We're not here to talk about my previous ratings, but I would probably put it in C at the most. Maybe even D, to be honest. I don't, at C or D, between those two. Now, let's see what I rated it back then. So if I were to rate the pack amongst the other ones I have in the past, uh, I believe my old order was get together, get to work, get famous, city living, cats and dogs, and then seasons. So in that order. So I would probably put this on the same level as okay, so I didn't even do the tier list. I was just ranking the expansion packs. So I would probably put this on the same level as City Living uh, in terms of my personal opinion. So either just above. Okay, so same as City Living, which is the same as the tier list we just did. So I rate it the same. And that means at the moment we're kind of still agreeing. It's, it's so weird. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> we're still agreeing. And the reason for that is, uh, so overall the pack kind of gives me the feeling of I'm not really sure what I do with it. And that doesn't sound great when I put it that way. That's totally true though. That's still 100% true. I don't know what to do with the pack. If you guys have been watching my Let's Play on it, we've basically just been playing The Sims 4 Get to Work and running a retail store. There's a lot of stuff that it comes with, but I just don't really know how I'm gonna use it later on. And I don't really use City Living that much. And that's completely different for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys in the past have said as well, you're like, what are you talking about, James? I use City Living all the time. And that's fine, but that's just how I feel about it. And the reason is there's no direct gameplay path to take with this pack. So for example, if we look at uh, Get Famous, that had the acting career, the big interactive acting career where you would play through all of it, do all the beats and get promoted, had that whole element to it. Then it also had like the skill tree with all the, the fame perks and everything like that, the reputation system. Yeah, so basically kind of still the same thing. Like what I'm saying here is that there's no, if you just gave someone Island Living and told them here, play with the pack. There's not really a specific thing to do. So you don't really know what you're supposed to do. And I think that's kind of a problem. Like with any with any game, not just The Sims, if you don't know what you're supposed to do in a game, then you have an issue. The world is beautiful, by the way. It is really, really beautiful. So on the note of the world, it is not that big. It's about 14 lots. I think it is 14 lots, uh, but it is really, really beautiful. And the world is still really good. I think the world is beautiful. I really like it, but honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna play in it much more after the Let's Play. I don't know that I want to. And I don't know if that's just because I'm not big into the world theme and style. It looks great, it really does. But maybe it kind of misses the mark on it also being a regular feeling world because it very much feels like so far detached from regular gameplay in terms of suburban living, living in a city and all that, which makes sense. It totally should, absolutely should. But I think where the problem arises is in The Sims, you still live that way on that island. Like you will still go to a regular nine to five job, whether you're being an astronaut or you're like in the military career or something like that. You're still doing the regular stuff, but you're living in a place that doesn't really make sense. And you have that disconnect. So unless you are actually doing the island living stuff of being a conservationist, it kind of feels like living in the island doesn't make sense. And it feels detached in that way, which I guess means that there just needs to be more gameplay there, which isn't. So the world is really nice. It is really nice. Uh, there's some good sized lots. 
Uh, the beach lots are really cool. Disappointing thing about them though is you cannot use terrain editing and you can't use basements and you can't you can't do a pool either on the ground level because then that that kind of sucks. That does suck. I mean, that's another reason why the world might not be used that much by me. It's just like you can't even be that creative with building. There's no it's like on the one hand, you get to build out into the ocean. On the other hand, we're going to take away half of the cool things that you could even do with the ocean. So like, what's the point? There is no hotels like an island paradise. Actually, that's a good point. So now I feel like naturally people are going to be comparing this to island paradise. And in comparison to that, well, number one, it's not, it's not as laggy as, as Isla Paradiso, but it does, it doesn't have houseboats. Of course, it doesn't have uh, hotels or anything, which is kind of a shame. It is a shame because Either of those things would have added a lot more gameplay. I mean, preferably the hotels would have been a huge, huge game changer and it would have given the pack gameplay and things to actually do. And it would have also meant the world was useful as a holiday destination, but not just a holiday destination, also as a business uh, like opportunity. You could open hotels and run them there. And it seems like such a missed opportunity. And I know we can't always compare packs to what they were in the past, but the hotel aspect of Island Paradise from The Sims 3 was such a huge component of that pack and it made it really, really fun and out of that gameplay. But that's just, that's, that's not here in The Sims 4. Let's sort of compare it to The Sims 4 and other Sims 4 packs. And then that's kind of where it landed in the city living territory for me because it adds this really nice island vibe. The build and buy mode stuff, really, really nice. There's actually some super good items in there. Yeah, that's kind of the thing with island living. And I still agree with this, uh, with what I was saying there. Build and buy mode, beautiful. The world is beautiful, but that's kind of it. I don't know if it's just me. And I, I would be interested to hear what all your opinions are when the, the game comes out. But I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to do in the game. I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to do in the game. What do you guys think? What are you supposed to... If you know what you're supposed to do in Island Living, let me know down below, because I don't. Because we got to play the game for six hours, three hours over two days. I did the first three hours of gameplay, the second three hours I was basically just building and trying to, trying to you know, play around with the new stuff. In the gameplay, obviously we have mermaids. Mermaids are the really big feature. I th they are the really big feature, but they're a really lacking feature too. They do look very, very good, and they work the same way as like vampires, or aliens where you can sort of uh, design both of their forms so their regular sim form and then also their occult form so you can sort of do it that way actually an interesting note about it as well is that uh, if you don't have any mermaids in your save game you're not going to see any mermaids in the game at all which is fantastic oh that's still true i think that's true i think there might have been some bugs around that where they might have still appeared and I, actually i think a recent update actually made them appear more but at the time they didn't uh because not everyone wants to just make a mermaid and make it easy to just you know be in a cult you you can actually find a mermaid. It is super easy to become a mermaid though, like so easy. Uh, just go into the cave, find some nomadic kelp in like a couple of minutes and you're a mermaid, boom. In the world, I was trying to do it, I ran out of time, but you have to basically befriend people around town. Once you're good enough friends, you can ask them if they're a mermaid. Which we discovered also, if you find the conch shell on the beach, you just blow that around other sims and you can figure out who's a mermaid really, really quick. So it's super easy. I mean, I didn't know much about mermaids then, they're super easy, they're super shallow, they literally do nothing. There's all, there's no moment of transformation either when you become a mermaid. I didn't even know I was a mermaid the first time it happened. It doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you what you can do. And when you change back, I didn't even know I had changed back into a regular sim because uh, it didn't tell me. So I had, I had the kelp again and then I was a mermaid again. It's super surface level. The mermaids are pointless. They really are. They don't do anything. Like, I think they... They wanted to simplify uh, the occults this time around, clearly, with the with the mermaids. But I really, I, I don't know, maybe this, again, maybe this is just me. Let me know your thoughts down below. I really liked the skill tree uh, for vampires. If they had a skill tree for mermaids, this pack would have had gameplay. <laughs> it would have had something to do. And that's what I was talking about before. It's like, if that was there, then you have a gameplay thread to follow. But... And, you know, actually things to unlock, things to discover. It's more challenging and it's just generally more fun. Uh, and, oh, and by the way, the, the, the tails and the customization of them are really, really nice. And the animations of swimming actually looks like a tail and not just legs in a costume. So that's cool. That's actually, that's actually quite nice. Again, they look amazing. They are really, really good. Really well detailed. The game is beautiful. It is. No, I'm not disputing that. 
uh, the gameplay is missing. And that, that's a big problem in a game. There's also a cave in the world that you can sort of go in and explore, but it's kind of just like a, almost like a little text adventure kind of thing. I was hoping at the very least it would kind of function like in Jungle Adventure. It would like teleport you around the world somewhere, maybe to a different location. Again, just another thing that's kind of surface level. It doesn't really do anything. It just gives you free stuff almost like effortlessly you don't really have to do anything uh and it's just kind of pointless in general like there's not really any reason to go in there you don't get anything that unique that you can't get anywhere else it's just pointless it's just really pointless overall i don't think this is one of my favorite packs i agree with that it is not one of my favorite packs i think but th that's my initial impression i think i need to play it more and try not no, you were right, buddy. You don't need to play it more because when we did play it more, this is weird. <laughs> I'm talking about stuff like this. When, when I did play it more, I have the exact same opinion. In fact, I, I learned, I was even more sure of myself that, uh, not one of my favorite packs. Because the problem with these things is we only get a few hours to play it at the time. And I was kind of confused as to what I was supposed to be doing. I, I imagine there's probably a lot more that I missed at out like I, I didn't get to play everything at all i didn't really get to do too much of the mermaid stuff initial impressions i think let me down a little bit with this pack in terms of gameplay oh oh, oh by the way cass uh, i looked at briefly went through everything there very briefly you know me and cass cass very very nice i, I feel like cass is always super nice build mode also very very nice uh the world also very very nice this pack looks great it just has no meat to it it's just shallow it's so surface level like everything is just one layer thick and as soon as you get through that layer that's it there's nothing else there i don't know the gameplay for me i didn't know what to do i don't know if that's just because i didn't know what was in the pack i mean they gave us a bullet list summary of everything that we we could we should check out but even then i was like i don't really know what i should be doing where i should be going but i think in summary i need more time to play this you played it all <laughs> you played it all in three hours you don't need any more time because i don't know where i'm gonna go with it you know, I don't like because you guys are always ask, you know, what's the racks riches and all that. We'll definitely be doing one. Actually, there's a few cool lot traits as well. There's like the volcanic lot. Lot traits are cool. Yeah, I think overall my impressions are pretty much spot on as to what it was. And overall, I think it was a very shallow pack and it honestly felt like a game pack and it still feels like a game pack and I would not suggest buying it for a full price. Um, it seems like they really missed the mark on that one. It, it seems like such a shame because Ireland living... And Island Paradise from The Sims 3, like that island theme is so uh, coveted. Like people really want that and really want to enjoy it. And it's got so many ideas that you can explore with it, but it seems like they kind of just chose a couple and didn't really explore them. I don't know what happened with it. Uh, it's missing a lot of stuff. And then yesterday we did the video about the island counter that was all broken and that was fine. Uh, I don't know. It was a big, big shame. And I really want this to be like a wake up call. Um, it shouldn't have been like that. I don't understand why an expansion pack was so empty and so shallow. To be honest, the fact that my first impressions are still 100% accurate. And like I said in the video, I had only played it for three hours and built for three hours. That means I played enough of it and experienced enough of it to know that it was shallow. And if I did it in that short of a time, that means that there's a big problem. And I think that's something that really needs to be paid attention to. Not the best pack. Uh, would not recommend getting that one. I mean, Get it on the heavy discount and it'll be great but yeah i mean there you go me reacting to my initial impressions and they're still the same so there you go that's my thoughts on island living now and back then let me know what you think about that pack down below and let's hope that we get some better packs moving forward <laughs> thanks for watching guys i will see you next time and have an awesome day